Hello! Uh, something a little bit different this time. My um, nail polish collection was looking a bit um, grey at the edges to say that I haven't swapped a uh, nail polish in years. So I decided to spruce it up a bit and I mm, got a little collection of nail polishes. So I just thought I would film a whole of it. Now all but one of these polishes are from uh, China Glaze. Because they're cheap and they're good. I mean, <clears throat> I'm not against it if people use a lot of money on the nail polishes, but for me, if I can find a similar color to what I want from China Glaze that costs a third of what one of the more high end brands cost, I'll go for that. In addition, a lot of sellers on eBay have basically combined shipping and all of that, so it doesn't cost that much to buy a bulk of these. So yeah, I mean there is a color I really really want from what is the company? Mabel in New York. The Dress to Kill color. Gorgeous dark red uh, thing. But I mean it costs over twice what a bottle of nail polish from uh, China Glaze costs, so I'm definitely going to look through China Glaze's catalog and see if I can find something similar before I fork out the money for the Maybelline New York one, because, I mean, yeah, I want to use my uh, money on occult books and other things that I'm interested in, instead of nail polish. Anyway, to my haul. I have uh, this one. It is Cow Girl Up, and I don't understand the name of this one. I passed this nail polish up so many times because I thought cold girl up doesn't that mean something brown or something like that? I mean seriously, it. Uh, but it is this. It's what I have on now. It's very very dark purplish plum, and yeah, I am so shit at actually applying nail polish because it just recently I started doing it regularly again. <clears throat> for years I only put on nail polish for special occasions. Now I do it regularly because I I found that actually my nails tend to uh, not chip as often and I can get at least a little bit of length to them because I have shitty nails. Uh, if I do nail polish just to protect them a bit. But I mean Cowgirl, what does that have to do with dark purplish plum? I mean, the other colors I can at least understand, but moving on. I have this uh, crackle polish, it's black mesh. And I have to say, it really, really works very, very well. It's not difficult to do, even me that do very, very shitty nail polish applications can do this and get a good result. And I have uh, this one, and it is some like it hot, and it is sparkly up the gahoozy. It goes on the nail like this very, very dark gray glitter, and I've used this two times. One, I did tips with it with the uh, black nail polish. And that looked amazing, and one time when I had very very short nails because my nails had broken, I just did the entire nail with this, and it really gave that little thing. So yeah, I can recommend this one. And I have this one, and it is purple panic, but this is not purple. It is as hot pink as you can possibly get. Now you might ask why do you have hot hot pink? Because I think that it looks very punky and very good to have basically if you have an all black outfit to have just a splash of hot pink somewhere that really makes it stand out and this is really really hot punkish pink and also it looks great under uh, black match.
And I have this one. And this is uh, from the Halloween collection, but I don't remember which year. And it is just named Crimson. Now, uh, what this is, is a nearly black red. And I think that a lot of people might be a little bit disappointed with this one. And I saw that reviews on the net and so on. A lot of people were disappointed with it because it really goes on very, very, very black. It's only in some uh, lighting settings that it shows up as going towards red. Now, uh, I like this because of two reasons. One is that I really like black nail polish, and this is just a variation of black nail polish. Because it's black with just a hint of red. The other is that while it looks completely black in most lights, since it goes towards red, it then uh, becomes very pretty when you wear red accessories and so on and so forth, because it has that hue to it. And I have this one, and it is uh, Bump in the Night, also from one of the Halloween collections, and I have not tried this yet, but it is a uh, black um, texture nail polish. I've never had a texture nail polish before. I haven't opened it. wonder how the formula is. And it looks like normal nail polish. That apparently it's supposed to turn up nice and bumpy, like um, like as well as like sand on your nails. And I think that would look cool. And I have this one. I needed another really dark, bumpy red, and this one looks good. And it is high maintenance. I am looking for another red like this, but one that is even darker. That's why I'm looking for the Maybelline um, Dress to Kill one, which is basically more red than this, but darker than this. But we'll see. I don't really relish forking out that much money for a nail polish. And I haven't tried the um, high maintenance one yet. I am going to a Christmas party uh, on the 12th, so I'm considering trying it out by then, because around by the 12th I expect this one to start shipping and it, I will need to change my nail polish. And then I have this one, and it is uh, Smoke and Ashes. It is one of the um, one of the Hunger Game nail polishes, and yeah, I like this one. Um, though it's not my favorite. Basically, it is this very very dark, almost black gray with green in it, and in the bottle you see the green show up very 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 good. And it's more like a dark, dark green, but on the nail, at least on my nail, it turns up more black with just a hint of green. I would have liked just a bit more green to it, because it becomes... Uh, it almost looks a little bit like muddled black, really. And it's too pretty, but it would have looked even prettier if it had more of the green shimmer showing up on the nail. Okie dokie. Uh... Then I have another one I have not tried yet. It is uh, Lubu Heels. And it is black and red. It's a black base with loads and loads of red glitter. I thought that would look very, very nice. Um, I have this one, and it is. Midtown Magic. And it is this dark, dark. Um, what it looks like is in the bottle is like black or very, very dark grey uh, with 
with uh, basically copper glitter in it, very very fine copper glitter. I haven't tried this yet, but I mean it looks very very pretty in the bottle, so yeah. And I have this one. It is liquid leather. I have usually used the black nail polish from uh, from um, oh what are their names? Uh, Stargazer. However, um. I ordered a cup, uh, some nail polish because basically my black nail polish was out and it never came. And I asked the seller well, what's, uh, what has happened here. And there was a lot of back and forth. And then she tells me no, um, nail polish has been uh, taken by the. Uh, by. Um, uh, basically. the uh, uh, port of security or something like that. And it's been destructed as dangerous materials because apparently, if you like uh, use a thousand bottles of nail polish or so, you can make a bomb bottle to it. But then again, you can make a bomb bottle of what you have in your cupboards. Really, do you think Alcada is gonna buy like a thousand bottles of nail polish and make a bomb bottle of it? Anyway, so um, she told me that uh, England has. Uh, got a new policy that they do not export the nail polish. So I had to change to American sellers. So therefore, I have gone over to liquid leather. I haven't tried this one yet, but I mean, I like most China glazes I have. So, and it is a very nice dark black, so I don't foresee a problem with it. And I have this one. And I hope my camera is good enough to actually pick up some of the colors of these. And it is black diamond. Now uh, it looks very black in the bottle, but what the reviewers say, and I haven't used this one either, is that it has this sort of dark grey shining um, hematite color to it. <coughs> and I can sort of see that. I don't know if you can see this have it so close. And I don't know. And that just sounds like it would be really, really pretty on the nail, and I also have a lot of hematite jewelry, so that would fit. And here's one I wasn't that happy about. It's um, get carried away. And now I do realize that since this is my first time trying chunky glitter, it can be just that I'm crap at it. But I have seen other reviews. But we're not exactly raving about this one. Now it looks very pretty in the bottle. It's this dark, dark base with loads and loads of various uh, sizes hexagon glitters. And basically, I don't like the formula on this one. Uh, it does become opaque if you use enough of it. And the problem is that the glitter is sort of sharp. It's very difficult to get it to actually. Stay nicely on the nail and so on. I can see if I can pick up some of the product and show you. No, no. Apparently, the glitter has gone to the bottom. Oh, here you are. So it calls on very, very lumpy. I guess somebody more skilled with nail polish than me could make this work easier. But for me, I mean, I'm gonna use it again. It's not that, but it wasn't one I was terribly impressed with. And then I have one I haven't tried yet because my orange nail polish has disappeared somewhere. I think it went dry and was tossed. I'm not sure. But uh, I have seen one that I have done in the store here that is very, very bright orange. I think this will look very pretty over it. It's from another Halloween collection and it is Boogie Down. And it has basically orange, black and white. Uh, uh, glitters. Little hexagon glitters. I thought that over an orange base this would look really nice. And yeah, I wear things like that all year round. So yeah, I'm not really, I haven't really gotten that. You can wear this color for such season and this colors for that season. I don't give a shit about that. I wear whatever I want every time of year. And before this 
video becomes a million years long. Uh, the one nail polish I do not have from uh, Shana Grace, this is from H&M. And it is Basement Chill, I think that's the name. Yeah, Basement Chill. Basically what this is, is a very, very shiny purple glitter. Now, I really like this. Now, the purple doesn't really show up very well, so you can wear it over about any other type of nail polish. But the glitter is so shiny, and it's in different sizes, and I mean, when I wore it, one of my friends told me it really looks like, uh, like a starry sky. And I do happen to agree with her, then I was wearing it over, um, so I think it was purple polish. But I am going to try this with the liquid leather and see if I can really get a starry night feel to it. And I have also considered just getting some uh, star shaped rhinestones to add together with that. I think that would be very pretty. But anyway, that was my nail polish haul, just to update the collection a little bit because I do like wearing nail polish. So yeah. I hope you have a great day, blessed be.